All right, guys. Well, this is going to be the anti-update SE plugin for your PSP. Simply, all this does is it blocks out the UMD update when you put a UMD in your drive. My UMD, my UMD drive doesn't work on this one. So, um, give me a second. I'm gonna take this fucking obliterated PSP that I'm still in the process of modifying, but let's see if this turns on. Uh, I have probably no battery power, just cause. Oh my god, I do have battery power. That's even, that's better. I do have battery. Battery information, 34%. Okay, that'll work for me to do this plugin. So, um, yeah, um, I need a UMD. Fuck, I sold all my games. Oh, well. But basically, all this is going to do is, um, it's going to block out the UMD update, um, for those of you who are annoyed that it is there. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty pointless to me, because what's one scroll down going to do to you? It's not going to break your thumb off. But for those of you who are... This is the SE plugin, and uh, I'm going to show you how to install it. So here we go. All right, so here's my PSP, and I'm going to scroll down to system settings here, system information, and you will see I'm running out 5.50 Gen D2 right there, plain as day. So now all I'm going to do is connect the USB cable to my PSP, and I'm going to come to the computer. And I'm going to use my Slim just because I don't have any more UMDs left. So here we go with this. Okay, so the file I'm going to have you download, and I will have a link to this on the side of my video, is this 13240 underscore anti update dot zip. Double click on that and open that up. And I'm using WinRAR for an extraction program. I'll uh, get that out of the way. And inside this, you are going to see the anti update dot prx and the vsh dot txt, which is simply just a text write up. So now, go to my computer and open up the removable drive for your PSP. And if you haven't already, create a folder all in lowercase letters called SE Plugins. Plain as day right there. And um, open that up. And this is where you're going to put your PRX and your TXT files. So come to the extraction program and simply just drag and drop the anti-update PRX from the extraction program and put it into your SE Plugins folder. Now, I've already done that. And I'm just going to hit no. Now, the VSH text, double click on that, right? And inside here, you're going to see written ms0 colon forward slash se plugins forward slash anti update dot prx space one. That is what you're going to want written in there. And I will have that written on the side of the video for you. Um, so, what you're going to do is simply, if you haven't got a VSH text document, just drag and drop that into your SE plugins folder. If you do, go inside the extraction VSH text, right? Select all, then right click and hit copy. And then simply you can exit that and come to your SE plugins folder, open up your VSH text document, right click and then hit paste, which I've already done that. And you will see written in here in your memory stick of the PSP in your SE plugins folder with the VSH.txt ms0 colon forward slash se plugins forward slash anti update dot prx space one exit that and save it exit the psp and we can exit that and come back to our playstation portable all right so here's my psp and simply all we're going to do now is uh, i'm going to hold the power button up until the psp turns off <clears throat> now after that shuts off Hold down the right trigger and turn the power back on to come to our recovery menu. Now, just to let everybody know, you need to be on custom firmware to do this. Because I always get people asking me, why doesn't it work? I'm on version 5.00 or 5.50 or 6.10. You have to be on custom firmware, people. Stop asking me that fucking question. It gets annoying. But anyways, inside the recovery menu, on the main screen, scroll down to plugins and hit X or your confirmation button, whatever it is. And scroll down until you see the anti-update PRX in brackets VSH and make sure it is enabled. It's right there, highlighted in green, it is enabled. So I'm just gonna hit back and I'm gonna hit exit. Uh, 
And then your PSP will reboot. Do, 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 do. And when you have a UMD in, you will not see the update on the UMD drives. So that's that. So that's how you install the anti-update SE plugin for your PSP running on custom firmware. I'm sorry that I don't have a UMD for you guys with an update on it to show that it does actually work. I used it before, but then my UMD drive crashed on this because it's fucking gay. Um, but other than that, it does work because I have used it before. So uh, if you guys want this SE plugin, just simply download it and follow my instructions and you can't go wrong. So uh, yeah, and again, I will have the link on where to get this. It's straight from my website and I set up the zip file for you guys so it's easier. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this SE plugin if you choose to use it. And uh, if you have any questions or anything, just leave me a comment or send me a message. I'll be happy to answer to you guys. Uh, if you want to keep up to date, subscribe to my channel, DeathRain333 on YouTube um, for more PSP videos and updates on stuff to come. And as well as um, information on what I've been doing and um, who I'm subscribing to and things like that if you wish to explore. Uh, and uh, if you have any ideas for any videos that you want to have me do for you guys, because, you know, I figure shit out like that for BSP, um, just uh, leave me a comment on my channel and I'll happily do that for you guys as well. So thanks for watching again. I'll see you guys later.